Good morning from Greenleaf State Park here in a little bit of southern Oklahoma. We've got Lily here begging for food for breakfast this morning. And we've had a nice two-day stay here with our grandkids. And it's been very nice. Short and sweet. There's Paula fixing breakfast this good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very nice out today. We've got pancakes and we're getting the eggs. Scrambled eggs, uh, basically uh, <laughs> breakfast burritos. And uh, but we're gonna go outside here and we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like out here. And every morning, just about not this morning though. Well, okay, yesterday morning. Let's go with that. We had uh, deer visiting us, and they visit us throughout the day, right back here. And a previous camper put uh, rinds right here, watermelon rinds, and uh, apparently the uh, deer just love those things. They're watermelon lovers. But yeah, we back up to this beautiful uh, forest of trees. Yeah, and there's a uh, Greenleaf uh, Lake over here on the other side. I'll show you in a minute. We're over here in Site 19 of Deer Run Campground. Full hookups. And uh, with the senior rate, it came in at just a hair under $30 a night. $29, like $29.48. That's the camp host and the big fifth wheel right there. These people are from Texas according to their license plates. Uh, and uh, so we're, it's not full. I mean, today is uh, Tuesday. No, oh, I'm sorry, Wednesday. And uh, man, it's uh, very sparse as far as RVers and campers here. There's a lot of tent spots. We've seen several tenters. Uh, farther away but back when we got our RV in 2017 it must have been 2018 we had come to Greenleaf and I believe this is the spot we stayed in right here because I remember a really nice guy uh, in a fifth wheel and uh, he came over and gave me some gloves. He saw me doing uh, my dumping and he didn't think I had any gloves on, but I did. He just can't see them very well. I think they were kind of tan color, match the skin. So yeah, this just makes a loop right here. Comes in over here, loops around. And uh, uh, very nice, very very uh, peaceful. There's uh, restrooms right there in those uh, metal buildings. The only thing is, cell service is non-existent for us Verizon users. AT&T, some of our family members have AT&T, and uh, it's, it works. Barely, but it works. I'd like to note, though, uh, we drove through another section of uh, RV spots called uh, Gobler, Gobbler, the Gobbler Loop, and our phones did work up there. See, we're in like a little uh, valley here. Yep, just walk through some webs here, spider webs. Excuse me, as I brush these off. Just wanted to get down here and show you the lake a little bit. So 
So there's the lake right there, Greenleaf Lake. It's not a very big lake, but uh, there is some boating allowed. Uh, there's a marina over here that rents, uh, uh, looks like to me, uh, kayaks are available and canoes. Might be a pontoon. There's not much around the park as far as uh, towns and restaurants, so that would be a little disadvantage if you like uh, to go out, which we do uh, like to go out and get a bite to eat, check out the local stuff. But um, for the couple of days we're here, you know, it's no. Now you can look in the map. I think Gore. Gore, Oklahoma is nearby. So there might be some stuff over there. Those people from Texas, I've seen them go quite a bit. It seems like around dinner time. So there must be some place around here they like. But right there is the general store. And it's a very nice uh, store. Pretty well equipped. Fishing supplies. A lot of snacks and so forth. And they do have bike rentals there too. Yeah, there's the marina and there's a grill over there too. Uh, during the week, the hours are not very long here. I think this store is 10 to 3. Weekends, it's longer. Yeah, they also have firewood, as you see on the sign there. Want to show you these bikes over here. Reminds me back in the days with my aunts and uncles and grandmother. They like these three-wheelers. The older folks like the three-wheelers. I'm probably getting to almost that point myself. Ha <laughs> don't, ha Don't laugh too hard. 63. And there's the tandem bike that also has car seats for your kids. That's pretty cool. volleyball court over here it looks like the geese are get, getting ready to start a game look at all these geese here they're pecking at the ground there must be some good food there up oh, I won't get too close there oh one's really running to catch up I'll let you guys get back to your breakfast. So near the entrance of this uh, park is a big splash pad uh, for the kids that costs extra. I think uh, my daughter-in-law said eight dollars uh, a kid. But it's above average splash pad. I mean, it's it's quite. Uh, I'll take some video later here of that. And there's a kids uh, fishing pond too. Beautiful morning. It's going to get uh, pretty warm today. We have what they call a heat dome over this region of the country high pressure and uh it stays stationary and gets pretty warm but there's a a great uh, shot there the reflection of the tree you can see how still that water is let's 
take a look here. The marina and the grill. Any fish over here? Pretty murky the water. A lot of insects flying around. Oh, very nice little patio. So here's the grill. Monday through Thursday, nine to five. That's the marina, I'm not sure about the grill though. Closed on Tuesday, yeah, we had, uh, most of everything was closed yesterday, yesterday except that general store. But this, the splash pad was closed too. I should call it a splash park because it is pretty extensive the equipment they have there. It's, it's not just your simple little splash pad. Um, very nice here. Ah, my, my son wondered about that. He thought there was pedal boats and I see the pedal boats. I see some canoes, kayaks. Uh, looks like some motorized fishing boats and the pontoon, so. Very nice. Looks like they just replaced all this, all the boards here on this deck, this dock. Another pedal boat. Sorry about that, I was taking, hit the wrong button to take a picture. I could take a picture while I'm uh, videotaping. Well, I'm gonna head back. Those breakfast burritos should be ready by now. I just wanted to uh, say good morning, show you around a little bit, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit here, and I'll take some of the video of that splash uh, park and uh, show you that later on. Uh, the grandkids are going to uh, go to that. I think it opens around 11, I believe, so. Disappointed yesterday they were closed, but they'll get it in today. We're all checking out today. They're in a cabin, by the way. They have about 16 cabins um, in an area. And uh, very nice little cabin. A couple of them uh, have really good views of the lake. So that's, uh, they're staying in a cabin. We've got our RV here. Oh, I just wanted to show you around a little bit uh, you have a great morning and uh, we'll see you soon see you down the road